Okay, you're right. Welcome to your tutorial on volume. Today we're going to have a bit of a look at what volume is and how we can calculate volumes of certain shapes. Okay, what is volume? Volume is the amount of space inside a three-dimensional object. So with 3D objects, we've looked at surface area, so the area of the faces of the outside of a 3D object. Now we're going to look on the inside. How much space is there inside a three-dimensional object? Volume is measured in units such as cubic centimetres and cubic metres. So it's measured in cubed units, okay? That's either that. Now, this three has come out. It's meant to be centimetres cubed and metres cubed, okay? But that's how we measure it. So whereas area is measured in square centimetres, volume is measured in cubic, cent cubic units or cubic centimetres or cubic metres, okay? That's an important mo note to make. Today we're just going to have a look at calculating volumes of different prisms, okay? A prism is a three-dimensional object that can be cut into identical slices. So I've got a square prism here. I've got a prism down here. It would, well, originally it looked like it could have been a cube, okay? And what I've done is I've, cr I've cut slices of it, okay? And each slice I cut is identical to the slice beforehand, okay? And these slices, I have a fancy name for them, and I call them cross-sections. Now, why I'm teaching you about cross-sections is because these will be very important when we look at volume. Because the volume of a prism is equal to the area of the cross-section multiplied by the perpendicular height. So the area of the cross-section multiplied by the perpendicular height. You can get different, whole, lots of different types of prisms. I'll give you an example. So see here, I will draw like what appears to be a Toblerone or a triangular prism. Okay, and I'll do this base going along here. Sorry, this looks a bit dodgy. Okay, a triangular looking prism. Now, the area I need is a place where I can slice this so all the slices are identical. And I'm slicing down here, and or I could do here, or I could do here, or I could do here. So it means that this shape here is the area that I need to work out. Not the base, not the rectangle that's at the base of it, but rather the area that forms the face of the cross section. So it'll be the triangle, okay? It's the, the shape at which I can cr cross, sorry, or cut identical slices. Volume equals area of the cross section multiplied by the height. Okay, let's have a look at some examples. So my first example here. Now, if I'm cutting identical slices down this object, it's not this one here. No, 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 no. It's of the cross section. So I'm going to be cutting slices dun, 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 down that way. So it's going to be, it's going to be the area of the triangle. Now I know I work out the area, so volume equals area times height. That's my formula. Now in order to work out this area, it's the area of the triangular prism. So the first thing, sorry, of the triangle. The first thing I need to work out is what is the area of that triangle. Okay, before I begin anything, what is the area of that triangle? So the area of the triangle is worked out at half base times height or half of my base is 7 centimetres, half 7 times my perpendicular height is 8. So half of 7 is 3.5 times 8 and my answer becomes 28. Now, if you want to know how I just did 3.5 times 8 in my head, I actually did doubling and halving. So I doubled 3.5 to get 7, and I halved 8. So 3.5 times 8 is the same as saying 7 times 4. So 7 4s are 28, and that's how I got my answer. So my area for my triangle, or the base of my cross section, is 28 centimetres squared. Okay, that's my area. So I've got 28 centimetres squared there. To find my volume, volume equals area of the cross section multiplied by the perpendicular height. 
okay? So, the area of my cross section is 28. My height here as identified is 12, so it's 28 multiplied by 12, and if I chuck that into my calculator, or Miss Kittle, of course, you can do it in her head, is 336 centimetres. Now what do I do? Wait for it. Centimetres cubed. It is volume, so I give my answer in centimetres cubed. The most important thing I paid attention to is that each of my units of measure were the same, okay? They are all in centimetres, so I didn't have to worry. That is the first thing you check. The second thing you do is that you calculate the area of the face of the cross section. In this case, a triangle, the formula for my triangle, the answer for that, and then I use that answer, multiply it by the height, volume equals area multiplied by height, 28 multiplied by 12, 336 centimetres squared. Let's look at this example. Now, this is a weird shape down the bottom, okay? So, what this question has done for me actually is it's already given me the area, okay? It's already given me the area. And I know volume equals area multiplied by height. All I need to do is simply sub it in. So, 13 multiplied by 7, 13 centimetres squared, multiplied by 7, that which is my height, and I get an answer of 91 centimetres cubed. The first thing I checked was that my units were in the same. The second thing I have done is I've substituted it in, and I've checked and I've given my answer in centimetres cubed. They're the important things, guys, and that's it. That's working out volume.